Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, your one-stop shop for mature dialogue. We're going to get right to it. Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast, your one-stop shop for mature sports dialogue. I am your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my big unk, Alan Tima. Before we go any further, please don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, hit the notification bell. That way you know Dream Team is out there when we upload new content. All right, y'all, we're getting right to it. The Miami Heat. The Miami Heat. The yeah. Godfather strikes again. Pat Riley. Yeah, man, that that dude. <laughs> he's 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 the Godfather. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's definitely man. know that about it. He he got the uh, executive game, the Locked science down. behind it, man. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy, man. They picked up. Uh, we'll start with a reason, right? They picked up a reason uh, for Myers. Leonard. That was before uh, the deadline. Before the deadline. Yeah, yeah. And uh, on the trade day, deadline day, they picked up um, Victor Oladipo. Mm-hmm. Gave up who Avery Bradley, who we haven't seen much of. Kelly Olynyk gave up nothing to yeah. get him, and 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 that's the thing. I mean, and most people think you know we haven't really seen the Olin Depot that came from OKC to Indiana. Mm-hmm. We haven't seen that Olin Depot in a while, but he don't have to be that Olin Depot in no. Miami. No, and. I think that's a huge pickup, mm-hmm. especially coming into his contract year, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think. So you, it, you think that's a good fit on, on paper? I, it, it looks great, you know what I'm saying? But it, what what the stories you heard about him, right? You, you know, we always got to keep it a hundred here, mm-hmm. and some of his antics and his uh, I don't know where he is mentally at times. Everyone doesn't fit that culture. That's a whole. It's it a takes whole a different, different type, kind yeah. of individual to. Yeah. yeah, it's South Beach, but it's it's like boot camp still. But the, the type of things that we've been hearing about Olin Depot was that he's on the court playing against other teams, <laughs> <laughs> and he's asking them, you know, what, 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 y- y'all want me to come play with y'all, you know, things like that, and and that that would rub his teammates the wrong way. And at this point, him being on a team. That was just in the finals, right? It was just in the finals. And I believe that they're just playing Russian roulette right now. Yeah. And I think that they're going to make a a serious run in the East for coming out of there. Yeah, because currently they're the eighth spot, which doesn't mean much. Do you want to play a team like Miami in the first round? Nah. Not at all. Or, or even even in the play-in, do you want to play Miami? No, nah, not at all. No. Nah. Nah, they're built for that. Right. Jimmy Butler has became, to me, a different type of veteran, a superstar veteran. Mm. He understands the long haul. That's from what I'm viewing from him. He understands the long haul. And that's why you'll see him missing a lot of games, making sure that so he making sure that he'd be a hundred percent when it's time. Because he plays one way. Yeah. Yeah. And and I mean he's out a lot of games. He sets out a lot of games. But to me, I think that that's okay. He understands we in the East, we can get through and all that. It might bite him. It could turn around and bite him. But at the same time, I I don't know. It's it is Miami. Yeah. So so right now, like I said, they at the eighth spot. When it's all said and done, right? Would you see them like in the middle of the pack, maybe a fourth seed? Because we still, you have Philly, you got Milwaukee, you have Brooklyn, well, and then I think they're gonna make a, a run. Yeah, because right now they're on a six-game losing streak. Yeah, and right before that six-game losing streak, they had won like ten straight, yeah, right? It was Something busy, like that. Yeah. And but you understand, they're on a six-game losing streak, but now Bam is out. Mm-hmm. That's big. That's huge. Yeah, you're right. You know, and then now these two these these pickups. We talking about Olin Depot, but they made a little small moves. We already mentioned Ariza. Okay, we got uh, my man from Sacramento, right? Uh, Nemanja uh, Bielic- 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 Okay, yeah. yeah. He's a shooter. Mm-hmm. And then what size? Not just that, not just him, but there's another the uh, the center that they have. Um, uh, what's his name? Achua. Achua, yeah. Achua. I've been watching him. Yeah. He plays bigger than what he is, though. He kind of remind me of Bam. I don't know how tall he is. He's like 6'8". That's tall? 
about six eight, six seven, six eight. Yeah. He looks a lot. Big. I mean, he, when he plays, yeah. it makes it seem like he's bigger. But I mean, I wouldn't want to. You, you, you got Iggy over there. Yeah. Then Dunn. We mentioned all these names, and to me, one of the best players, even with us talking about Butler, Goron. Yeah. Drogic. Well, yeah. Drogic has been like the glue, the leader, the leading scorer mm-hmm. on that team. We ain't even meant. We, we, he goes unnoticed. Like, like that doesn't exist. All right, so let, let's talk about the roster. Right, so you got Bam, right? That's an all star. Jimmy Butler, all right? We mm-hmm. mentioned the pickups. You got Achua, who's there. You got Bielinche, he was picked up. But you mentioned Iggy, Trevor Reza. You got Tyler Hero. Mm-hmm. Duncan Robinson. My only issue with Oladipo is where are you finding the minutes for all these players? Because a lot of them, they play, it's kind of similar. So it's going to be like everyone's getting maybe 20, 25 minutes. But see, nah. Cause he, or he, in you know, that. I'm going to tell you no. Because, so you're thinking like a regular, like a regular coach, how they would normally do things. But Spolcher got these zones that he plays. Mm-hmm. And he'll play. Some of them names that's more like small forward guards, those they have, some of them will be playing power forward, but hiding behind the zone. Yeah. And that zone is difficult to break. It is because they, they extend out towards yeah, the, the half court push, line. Right. And they still covering the whole court. That's what I love that you know Spolstra, he he's more like a to me, a college coach mm. in the NBA. Mm. But elite on both levels. Yeah, he's very creative, right? Yeah. Only thing creative. with that zone is they get killed on the boards, man. When they had them little little guys back there. Yeah, but now they got some guys, man, that I think like like uh, that the kid Achula, I was telling you about playing him and then bam, bam on the boards. Mm-hmm. And now um, I know the kid they picked up from um, Sacramento. I can't pronounce Lamar his name. Bill Lynche. Bill Lynche. Yeah. Bill Lynche. He's 6'10". Yeah, he is. So, is he a rebounder? He better be. I mean, I know he's a shooter. Yeah. Because he can definitely bang him. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's spreading that floor for all. And that's the thing about Miami. Miami has, a, which is different than most other teams. They have two or three ball hard. No. Most teams have two ball handlers. But what Miami have, they have so many ball handlers. So that's that that driving kick that they like to play. You can put a lot of players on the floor, man. And and, and you got to understand, you got players like Iggy and even Trevor Ariza, mm-hmm. who, although they're small forwards, they can... They, they can defend some power forwards. Yeah. So that's how you're gonna get the minutes for these guys. You're playing playing those guys on different type of guys. Like Iggy can play those those power forwards. Mm-hmm. Ariza can play them type of power forwards and things like that. And that and but they switch everything that because they they're do. in the zone. Yeah. The, the zone will cause a different type of matchup that they have to guard, and they do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, they do it by committee. Yeah. Right? That's just what it it's is. A, that zone is not set up for you left out there by yourself. It's a team defense They where they work one on each other. And Pat Riley, he knows the system. And and it's not even his coaching style. It's Spolcher's coaching style. Coaching, coaching style. And look what he does. He still get the pieces that they need. Yeah. I, I mean, I think it's a, it was a lot of things I was impressed with during the trade draft line. But I was really impressed with what Miami. And you gotta understand, they're not finished because the buyout market is there. Yeah. And rumor has it that they're gonna sign Lamarcus Aldridge. Now, if they get him, that that's that's a game changer. I'm that, not saying that that makes them the favorites in the East, but they you, they're already a headache. You want you don't want to face them, mm-hmm. but if they get him, mm-hmm. more size, another shooter, yeah. Pair with Bam, because mm-hmm. Bam. Bam is not an individual who needs to play with his back to the basket. Spo- uh, um, um, he will release Bam. Because Bam, to me, is a small forward in a power forward center body. I mean, type of play, but in a 
and a power forward and a small forward body mm. because he handles the rock. Yeah. He does. I watch him defensively and I watched him against the Brooklyn Nets and one early on in the season and he was guarding Kevin Durant. Mm. He did a great job. Yeah. A great job doing that and they won that game. Mm-hmm. You know? So I I would not want to play them. Now, it's always that way. We we state that. I think we stated that in the Eastern Conference uh, mm-hmm. preview early in the season. We still haven't even mentioned Kendrick Dunn. Kendrick Dunn, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. been playing great this year. Yeah, he he's having a good season. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll see what happens, man. Like I'm, I, I think there are there are headache. You don't want to face them just because of their style of play, and they're gonna grind it out. You know what I mean? You're not gonna sweep them or anything like that. They're gonna make you work for every single thing. The only thing with Miami at times. Mm-hmm. Timely buckets. I I like Jimmy Butler, but sometimes his game is so predictable to where when you need that timely bucket, I don't think they have that because we they're, they're waiting on Tyler Harrell to turn the corner. But mm-hmm. it's sometimes it's too iffy at times. He's very streaky. They don't have that guy. the The guy in my eyes on their team for the bucket is Goron. Well, that's that's the one. Remember, he wasn't there in the finals for them last yeah, year. Yeah, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. But I don't know. Nah, I don't know. Nah, they was getting killed on the glass, man. They was getting killed on the glass, but we just mentioned it. They get L.A. Lamarco Jordridge. That's the difference. Yeah, big back there. Yeah. Man, trust me, if they don't get him, they're gonna get somebody. There's it's some sinners out there. People, like who, they don't want white side. <laughs> they got rid of him. They, would, they wouldn't go back. Yeah, but, but you know what? He wouldn't be bad. Right now, white side wouldn't be bad with, with Miami Heat. Right now, they just need that big. Mm-hmm. That's going to clog up that. If you get a big in there. and With and, that zone. But Bam closed up a lot of space, too. And then if you get a center in there, another center in there, that can slow and contest shots. With Bam also coming, because mm-hmm. Bam's still gonna be coming. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't want to play Miami Heat. I'm gonna keep saying that. Me neither. Mm, no. They, we they've proven that time and time again. My, uh, um Philadelphia, Brooklyn. Uh, I wouldn't want to see them because of their balance. I think that's the key. Like they're, yeah. It's most teams are top heavy. With mm-hmm. them, they they have a lot of. Uh, and Jimmy Butler yeah. now got other weapons on the floor, which is. Now I'm gonna open. I believe can open up his game offensively. Mm. I really do. Olin Depot, if he's giving them at least, if he can come back to be 80 percent of what we know Olin Depot to be mm. at his best, if he can become 80 percent of that, because they really don't need 100 percent of Olin Depot, because then that is taken away from. Other players. Right, so judging from the way you're talking, what is what is their ceiling? Because you're saying they don't need him to be old depot of old. So what do we for them based on what I they just have, need Jimmy Butler to be the Jimmy Butler of the bubble. But what are you looking for them to what, what are your progression? Well, what, what 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 are your projections? I should say based on what they have, right? The moves that they made. And if they pick up Aldridge or another center. Well, being that I haven't seen Durant and Kyrie and Harden on the floor at the same time. To me, if you don't have no chemistry and you got to face a Spolstra team in the playoffs. That's that's, valid. So I can see them coming out of these again. Listen, man, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm not. Only thing, if they don't get a big team like Philly, if Embiid is just eighty percent, well, they were gonna, they're gonna get a, a big. I don't know which one is gonna be because there's some bigs out there. Uh, Memphis just released their big, um, one of their bigs. Uh, Was it Gorgie James? Dang, yes. yeah. Okay. I can see him on Miami. Yeah, he's about six nine. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Is he, he six nine? He look bigger. Yeah, than he's he's nine. long and he's yeah. Is he? Yeah. He, he's only six nine. Like six nine, six ten, pushing there. I think yeah, Louisville. Yeah, yeah. But, but even then, that that's that's can't teach that. Yeah. Because when we talk about height, we sometimes we forget about wingspan. Bam, run into problems when he got to bang with those big centers. Mm-hmm. And if you got somebody else in there that's gonna do that, 
But these modern day centers, I, I give Bam the up on them on any of them all day. No doubt. You know, and you gotta remember, they we we talked about how they got killed in the playoffs in, in the bubble. But Bam was hurt. He but was when hurt. he was healthy, he was a monster. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. And I think that, that bubble just wore them down. You know what I mean? Like they had to fight so hard to yeah. get where they were. And they maximized deep. everything that they had. And now they're deep. Now they're deep. They're deep. They're at, deep. At every all, all those positions that mm-hmm. we're talking about. Mm-hmm. And 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 then, you know, the with these trades that the Godfather made, <laughs> he made those trades and didn't give up his young core on Duncan Robinson, who we haven't mentioned, who is one of the best catch and shoot shooters in the league. Yeah. And they still have him. So, but he was a defensive liability. But now he gives the effort, though. It, 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 you have no choice. <laughs> you, you're not <laughs> on the floor. Yeah, you right. You're not. You're not yeah. getting on the floor with Spolstra unless you. You give the effort. But that was one of the problems, even with Hero. You know, it was a defensive liability and same same thing with um, Duncan. But now you can bring them in in moments. Mm. The game when you need those, what what they do best. Yeah, that's a fact. And Spolter is great at situations or moments with, with a team. I watch that. I know that. And... I wouldn't want, again. I'm gonna say it again. I wouldn't want to play Miami Heat first round, second round, third round, even forget about the finals uh, of the Eastern Conference. So it's gonna be on. And this is what's so exciting about the league, man. I mean, this is from the beginning what we was talking about. But this is even more exciting when you watch teams when they get to the break and they and they make these moves and add players. In little positions that's going to help them get to where they need to go. And Pat Riley is a veteran at that. At that. Yes, sir. The Godfather strikes again. Miami Heat. We'll be right back in the thick of things. Right now, like I said, the AFC, but plenty of time. You're going to, and the way the Eastern Conference is structured, you win three games, you'll be back the fourth seed again. So both conferences. So, But even if that, the AFC, and they and they have to play it going to play in. You don't want, yeah. That, I mean, the, those teams on the bottom don't want to be a Miami Heat. No doubt. And then that just giving them more time with just being that they just coming together as a team to come, to, to get ready for, a first round mm-hmm. now do you want to be boston or philly i mean um brooklyn not brooklyn or philly who's the number one seeds that's why I'm, those two are the top that's why i mentioned them and you playing miami in the first round it's a grinder you don't want to do you that. don't want that and yeah. i read that you don't want to and then you, you're a team like brooklyn who if they the number one seed and they got to face miami you're a team that don't have that much chemistry because your players, Kyrie out, Durant ain't been playing, all that. I don't know how long that's going to be going on, but they don't have a lot of time on the floor together. Yeah. And the way Spolstra with these zone defenses and, and he switch them up, it's not basic zones that sometimes you can't, Recognize it's his own, and I mean he's just different with his own. Got to have a high level IQ. Yeah, and if you don't have the chemistry, you can't come out of a series. You you talking about four times, and then Spolstra make adjustments. That he does in that zone defense that he that he does, and I don't know, I don't know if they can come out of that. We shall see, man. Mm-hmm. We shall see, man. We shall see. Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. Once again, the Miami Heat, right back, right back like they never left. Ready to turn that corner. Pat Riley. <laughs> new, almost just about a new roster based on what they got. And things are looking up over there. A, a new roster with the core. Yeah. There you and have. The core and more. We'll, we'll run with that then. Yeah. Right? We'll just see. We'll, we'll see. We got some time, but it, it's exciting to see that uh, the teams that, you know, that we are accustomed to winning, winning culture, making moves and making sure that they're still there and making the Eastern Conference a little bit more competitive. So there you have it, man. Anything else you want to say? Ola Depot. Ola Depot. Who are you? 
We about to find out which one. We, yeah. we about to find out. I think this is dangerous. Yeah, because if you want a long term contract with anyone, mm-hmm. you bet. This is the perfect culture to succeed in. Yeah. Because all you got to do is come the ball, and you will have your opportunities to make something happen. Right. All right, there we have it, man. It's Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. Once again, leave a comment below. What do you think, Miami Heat fans out there? Are you excited? Do you think that you're going on another long run in the playoffs? Let us know below. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. This is Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. We are out of here. Y'all be good.